Hello, I'm Jack. I'm a technician at Air Arms. Today, we're going to be oiling and greasing an Alpha pistol to keep it in tip-top condition. The first thing to look at is the pivot point on the trigger. Is this here. To do that, we want to make sure the gun is safe first. To oil up that pivot point, the good idea to get some mineral oil, here at Air Arms we use Abbey. A small drop of oil on the pivot point here. We do not want to use too much oil on this gun and also the friction points by the trigger and also the other side. And now we work it in to make sure the trigger is nice and free. With a nice clean rag, if we just wipe off the excess oil on both sides. And now we move on to the loading bolt if we lift the loading bolt up, in this groove where the loading bolt slides along, it's a good idea to put on a small bit of lithium grease along that channel. We do not want to put too much in there, keep it nice and clean. And now if we work the loading bolt and the grease, just to work the grease in. On the pellet probe, the loading bolt, using our mineral oil, a small drop of oil, top of the probe, keep the o-ring inside, clean. The next part to oil up is a dry fire lever, which is this bit here, with a nice dot of oil. working the oil in. Also on the cocking buttons, either side, if we put a small dot of oil on either side, there and there, same the other side, small drop and work that in. And we're working the cocking buttons Hold the cocking buttons as we fire to keep it safe. We now also test the dry fire lever to make sure it's work. Okay. Now we release the dry fire, keeping our finger on the button and firing the gun, moving back slowly. Now we remove all the excess oil. It is just very important not to overfill the parts with oil. And now with an aerosol, mineral oil, we use Formula X here from Napier. Go over the complete pistol with a light spray and with our oily rag, give it a good wipe and over. And that is how we grease and oil an alpha pistol here at Air Arms. For the latest products or helpful hints or advice, please go to air-arms.co.uk. Thank you.